Hey there everybody and welcome to our Killing Eve season four video. We want to kind of jump into talking a bit more about Eve and Villanelle and their relationship because one of the big criticisms that's been going on about season three is that we had very, very little between them. We had a kiss and then we had everything that was in the finale. But outside of that, there was very little that was going on. Season one, season two, we had a lot of buildup of these really nice stepping stones towards a relationship. So in season four, are we going to see a relationship between them? But before we get into that, if you're interested in more discussions like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notifications and give this video a like. It is such a, I think, fascinating place that we were left off in at the end of season three because it's everything is a little bit more out in the open. We had, I think, two of the most honest conversations we've ever had mm -hmm. with Eve and Villanelle, and I think we are we're in a place where you can sort of consider this as an opportunity to do something with an air of permanence over it, as opposed to I think if there was anything before this season it would have been just very brief and flash in the pan because they weren't really there on that same page. Yeah, and what was interesting about this season is that in season one and two, there's been a lot of back and forth and sort of build up and flirting and teases and all attention, all this stuff that's going on. But season three is the first time that we've actually had a kiss between them and we've actually had any kind of conversation between them. The closest thing we had was the finale of season two where Villanelle just assumed that Eve was going to go off with her and they were gonna kind of live happily ever after, but they had never had any kind of conversation like that, but now they have. So where is that gonna move us into season four? I think one of the most interesting aspects of this is that I feel like in some ways the distance between them, I think it sort of has made the heart grow a little bit fonder, but I think it's combining that distance with also <laughs> circumstance with, you could sort of just list off all the people who Villanelle sort of lost in some shape or form this season, whether they're dead, whether they have just betrayed her time and time again. She is much more on an island and Eve, in a way, is sort of in a similar position where, you know, things with Nico, that, that seems to be completely done. I, I don't foresee I Nico so. ever coming back onto the show <laughs> at this point. So they both feel more in a spot where they can look at each other and be like, you know me and you see me in a way that no one else does. And that is a really important stepping stone and foundation for any relationship. It is, and this season, for more than the relationship, this felt like a season for Villanelle and really kind of figuring out who in her life matters because she, we saw her go up against her mom who didn't want her twice abandoned her. We had Dasha come in who was someone who trained her. So even though they may not have had that kind of family relationship, she was still a very important mentor in her life ended up not working out that well. We had Constantine who was like a father figure to her betrayed her at the end of season two and then just kind of abandoned her in season three as well. Everything that happened with Eve, she was sort of like putting her in the same category as all these other people. But at the end of season two where she was, oh, we're going to go off together. And he was like, no, we're not. Oh, well, I'm going to kill you. Then we're done. And to see Eve come back at that train scene, where she's running down after down the platform and Villanelle sees her and is like, oh my goodness. So all these people have done all these things and they've all abandoned me, but here is Eve, she is not doing this. So going through this journey, it feels like Villanelle is now in a place that she understands how she feels about Eve and that how Eve actually feels about her. Along with that acceptance, I think we're moving into a real relationship between these two that we are going to explore in season four. The fun part of this to me is going to be learning what that relationship looks like because just because they turn back towards each other on the bridge, it doesn't mean that 
season four is going to pick up and they're living together and they're spending a significant amount of time together. And I don't think anybody wants to see that. We've all been on a slow ride, so take us on the full ride. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of shows doing the whole, we're going to skip out on like the entire early portion of this relationship and then you eventually, yeah, it could be really, really great to see them together in a larger capacity, but don't rush through the process. Even if it is you see them together at dinner occasionally, or you see them together at least five or six episodes in a season. I will take that over two or whatever we add this season. Yeah, there needs to be build up. This show is a whole show of build up. Yeah. So you you can't give us season one and two of this just beautiful, delicious build up. And then we've got season three where we had like two episodes with them in it together and that's it. And then if you give us a time jump, where all of a sudden they're just together in season four, I am going to be disappointed. That is not what I signed up for with this show. It's not what they laid out. But mm -hmm. I have faith that that is not what they're going to do to us. If we get any kind of time jump, I think it's gonna be very small yeah. because they're, it feels like there wasn't a lot of cliffhangers at the end of this, but there actually was. I mean, we had, Carolyn kills somebody who was allegedly part of the 12. Carolyn is in trouble. That's that's not going to land. Like, the 12 is not going to have that. As soon as they find out that Paul is dead, that is going to be a problem. Villanelle has quit the 12. Quit the 12. Nobody quits the 12. She knows where all the bodies are buried. So that's not happening. Eve knows too much. The 12 are still going to be involved along with their relationship. I, the, the way that I'm trying to think about their relationship entering season four right now is partners. Now, partners can mean a lot of different things. It may be me, it might mean romantic partners, but it may also mean your partners in a unified mission. Maybe your partners professionally, maybe your emotional partners where you can go to each other. But I think the two of them know they are sort of in this together now and they may not want the same thing and methods to resolving that thing all the time, including taking down the 12. We've already heard what Villanelle's philosophy on that is at the moment. But I think when they sort of see what they're up against and sort of like you said, that the 12 not going to let Villanelle just go at this point. I think they can be partners in dealing with that together. And I think through their experience together, they can maybe start to figure out more of, do we actually have a life together that is more rooted in a reality as opposed to just sporadic occurrences that take place throughout a season? Yeah, and I think that with both of their lives being on the line, because that's, I can't see how that's not where we're going with it. These types of situations bond people for life in a way that nothing else really does. I mean, they're, they're going through something that's traumatic and messy and dark. They are going to be bonded forever. And I, I feel like they already know that they are from what they've already gone through. But having the stakes that high while they're also trying to explore a relationship is going to bring them together maybe a little faster than I like because I like, I like a really slow burn. But sometimes when you're in these types of situations that have such high stakes on their lives, on, on each other, and that fear of losing each other, it can really snowball a relationship really quickly. The... I think a lot of it depends, honestly, on how long they want Killing Eve to go for. Because I, I I would like to see Killing Eve obviously get a season five. I would be really down for a season six. Because this is a show that has kind of smaller episode runs and it is a BBC America show and the BBC model sometimes is to do rather short series runs. If season four or season five at the end is very close, maybe they move things along a little bit faster. But... I would like to see them take some time. I think the eventual question of could these two actually be together in a long-term capacity is so exciting to me because it could either be wonderful for the two of them and exactly what they need and there could be so much intelligence and passion there 
or it could just completely explode. Like, it is, they're such combustible characters where you can see it either having a really wonderful ending or just a very heart-wrenching ending, depending on how the writers go. But I think in love sometimes comes risk, and you, you want risk on a show like this. Yeah, I think that we are going to see them explore their relationship in season four, and I think it's going to be messy. I think it's going to be a very hard relationship for both of them. There's going to be growing pains for both of them. We've had Villanelle sort of have women throughout her life that she hasn't really understood a commitment to. This feels like, you know, she's had one person that she felt she was more committed to and it ended pretty badly. <laughs> so I think there's going to be a lot of growing pains for her. But I also think Eve is going to have a lot of growing pain. She thought getting married to Nico and sort of, you know, having a normal lifestyle was what she was about and she's not. So she's going into completely new territory as well. This is two women that do not know how to traverse this type of a relationship. So it's going to be difficult and it's going to be messy. And I think they're going to get through it to the other end. But when you really look at how combustible they are, it's almost like what Eve was saying on the dance floor when they looked over at sort of that other couple of like, oh, do you where do you see us sort of kind of going there? And and the answer is kind of like, no, like we will have something and it will be a great love and it will be a great connection. But our relationship is combustible. You saw it again on the bridge, that idea of can you help me stop this monster in me? Yeah, by not being together. Well, that's not an option. <laughs> we want to be together. So it's going to end up being real messy. It is, and I'm really excited about it. I'm worried about it, but I think that's how it should be. We've, we've all watched about 2,000 romantic comedies in our lives, right? And one of the things that it's usually the exposition character, like it's the parent or the best friend, they'll like look at their other person and be like, you know love is worth fighting for and then they end up doing something and it's it's true for killing eve it is worth fighting for but there's probably going to be a lot of fighting yes and i think uh, like i said a lot of growing pains but i'm here for it this is where i want to see the show go next season i got barely any Eve and Villanelle, and it was really missed for me. I felt the absence of it this season. So going into next season with the new showrunner, I'm very excited to see what's going to be coming. Yeah, and the new showrunner, Lauren Neal, she already is behind creatively a lot of the stuff from season three that a lot of people really enjoyed. Yep. She had a co-writing credit on the finale. Yep. So I, I feel like she knows and understands and cares about the Eve and Villanelle relationship a lot. I'm excited to see what she does with sort of the reins herself. Yep. So let's just turn this over to you guys. What do you want to see for Eve and Villanelle on Killing Eve Season 4? Love! Do you think we're going to have love? Do you think we're going to build in that direction? How fast do you want it to go? Be sure to share in the comments. And if you do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the store. And we'll see you here next time.